law of variable proportion in this tutorial we shall try to find the answer for the questions on law of variable proportion questions if more variable factors are employed with fixed factors the total product increases at increasing rate and finally it falls explain the three stages of law with the help of total product average product and marginal product curves 2011 explain the law of variable proportion with the help of a diagram 2015 if more variable factors are employed to fixed factors the total product increases initially at increasing rate and finally it decreases explain this law with the help of a diagram 2018 discuss the three stages of the law of variable proportion with the help of diagrams in which stage will a rational producer like to operate 2020 these questions carry 6 marks okay the answers for these questions are going to be the same i shall give a common answer you shall make small alterations here and there nothing wrong if you give what is given in this lesson first state the law as the proportion of one factor in combination with fixed factors is increased after a point first the marginal and then the average product of that factor will diminish then offer a brief explanation about the law labor is a variable factor land and machinery are fixed factors when the proportion of labor is increased with a land and machinery the total product increases after reaching the maximum it falls the output behavior can be divided into three stages finally explain in terms of graph the graph illustrates the law stage 1 increasing returns stage in this stage a given proportionate increase in variable factor causes the output to increase more than proportionately stage 1 ends when average product reaches the maximum in this stage 1 average product increases and reaches the maximum 2 marginal product increases after reaching the maximum it falls 3 though marginal product falls average product continue to increase because marginal product is greater than average product 4 marginal product curve cuts average product curve at the maximum point of the average product curve at the maximum point of average product curve marginal product is equal to average product 5 total product is increasing at an increasing rate when marginal product increases when marginal product is maximum total product increases at a constant rate 7 when marginal product falls total product is increasing at a decreasing rate reasons for increasing returns 1 indivisibility of factors in the early stages of production the size of the fixed factor is so large variable factors are comparatively less variable factors are unable to use the full productive capacity of the fixed factor 2 division of labor when additional units of variable factors are employed the producer can use division of labor in perfect form hence there is increasing returns in the first stage stage 2 decreasing returns stage in this stage 
a given proportionate increase in variable factor causes the output to increase less than proportionately. This stage ends when marginal product becomes zero or it cuts the x-axis. In this stage, one, average product is falling and remain positive. Two, marginal product is also falling and reaches zero. Three, total product is increasing at a decreasing rate. Four, total product is maximum when marginal product is zero. Reasons for decreasing returns. One, non-optimal factor proportion. When the proportion among the factors become non-optimal, output is not growing fast. Two, imperfect substitution. There is a limit to substitute one factor for another. These factors contribute to the operation of decreasing returns in the second stage. Stage three, negative returns. This stage begins when total product starts falling. In this stage, one, average product keeps falling and remains positive. Two, marginal product becomes negative. Three, total product falls. Reasons for the negative returns. One, overcrowding of factors. Overcrowding occurs when more than required number of laborers are employed. Two, mismanagement. When laborers are employed indiscriminately, management becomes exceedingly difficult. Due to above said reasons, negative returns shows its ugly head after a certain point. The stage of operation. In the first stage, marginal product of the fixed factor is negative. In the third stage, marginal product of the variable factor is negative. Only in the second stage, marginal product of both fixed and variable factors is positive. A prudent producer will operate only in the second stage. Our discussion on answer ends here. Go to description to get the link for the Tamil version of this answer. We shall meet again.